Okay, we are recording. Great. Once again, welcome, welcome from all around the world. Um, to be honest, this was just uh, actually a, a request of Analicia from, uh, from UK because she does a lot of uh, home meetings, home parties uh, for her team. And, uh, you know, uh, she heard that I, was, I used to do uh, a lot of them, uh, to, be, uh, to, to be exact, over 500 home parties within two years uh, when I was a distributor. And uh, she just wanted to have some tips and tricks, what to do, what not to do, um, you know, how I, um, how I um, had, you know, was able to organize so many home parties. And um, that's why I said, okay, you know what, when I'm going to give this information out, why just one team? Let's give it out to everyone so that you guys can use this information and, uh, you know, actually um, use it in your team and make sure that everyone is aware. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we are branding this as J Party. Now, J Party, like I said, the party uh, in this sense is nothing more than a home presentation. Okay. And uh, what I just want to point out to you guys, first of all, is this. Now, in this industry, in direct selling industry, we do like over $200 billion of revenue. 200 billion actually this industry is bigger than um, you know than the music and uh, and hollywood together okay so huge industry two billion dollars revenue now interesting to know is that 70 percent of this two billion dollars is made by in home parties like in the, uh, in the living rooms you might not think that especially when you're new you might want you might think that hey um, this is done in one-on-ones. This is done in, I don't know, maybe bigger events. That's what you might, may, might think, but that's just not uh, the case. The statistics say that 70% of this uh, volume of this revenue is done um, in the living rooms. Now, there are some reasons for that. Obviously, if you are meeting a business person, yeah, let's say you're meeting a business person uh, this guy has, um, you know, a couple of businesses and he's very, um, he's very open to get to know Jeunesse or maybe the person has already experience uh, in the direct selling industry. Of course, it makes sense to meet this person in, uh, you know, one-on-one. It makes sense to bring this person together with the, um, you know, with your upline. It makes sense maybe to, to invite this person to a nice hotel lobby and to talk about business, right? Because you don't, maybe you don't know the person very well. Now, what I'm doing right now, um, what I'm explaining to you guys right now is the roots of network marketing, the roots of direct selling, which is the way this business, um, you know, was uh, invent when, when some, the, the first person came up with this business 100 year, years ago, this was the idea of the direct selling, which is, hey, me using some kind of products, which I'm very, very excited about, and uh, getting the information out to people that I know. Now, who, who are the people that you know? The people that you know are your family, your friends, you know, your neighbors, people that you see on a daily basis. That is network marketing. Now, nowadays, it's very important, for example, to work on social media. You know, get connected with the world, get connected with people that you don't know. But if you don't know someone, you're, not, you're probably not going to invite that person to your home for a presentation. So what I'm talking about here is not a new strategy. This is not a replacement of whatever your upline is teaching you. This is very important for everyone to understand. Um, so what we are doing now is just giving you guys an additional tool. If you are not doing this already, giving you guys an additional tool uh, to use, uh, you know, as soon as people get started in this industry, in your team, which works pretty well. And I'm going to explain to you guys why it works well. Now, first of all, um, if you sign someone up, and it's very easy uh, for that person to um, right away invite five to 10 people who the person knows, let's say that's a person that doesn't have any experience in this, uh, you know, in this industry, to invite five to 10 people to her or to his, uh, his living room, okay? 
Now, obviously, for you as an upline, is your job to not let that person do it on his own, right? You just, as soon as you sign them up, you sit down with them, you just uh, call the people up, you help out, and the only thing that the person does is invite these people to, uh, to his or to her home. That's all, okay? Not explaining the products on the phone, not explaining the business on the phone, nothing. This is just, that's a, that's a reason why we call it party is because when you are, when you have a party, like real party, like let's say you have a, um, I don't know, birthday party, you don't call people and explain them, you know, it's my birthday today, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at home. I'm gonna invite some people, and here's what I've uh, been preparing. We have diet coke. We have water. We have food. We have this and we have that. You don't go through these details, right? You just call the person and you just inv invite them to the to the party. That's just the most normal thing that you can do. Okay. Now, when it comes to inviting people, and th this is guy tonight. Tonight is going to be a, re a quick recap of the let's say bird perspective how to do it if you guys want we can dive into more details on the uh, on the next webinars how to invite people uh, to such parties because that's a different story uh, than just calling someone and inviting them to see a business presentation we can do that for sure but now i just want to give you guys a bird perspective how to invite people and how to you know go through these um, through, the, through, through the steps all right so um there are some things that you need to uh, be aware of there are some things that you need to prepare before you let's say you you have your own party and uh, by the way all the leaders on this call uh, and i'm sure most of you guys have already a team this is not something you ask your team to do. This is something you do first and you invite your team to that place to see how you do it. Leading by example, don't forget that. This is something you do first. And after you've done it, you can then go out and ask your team to do the same thing, okay? This is very important. Now, there, are, there is a checklist. I'm gonna uh, go through some very important points that you guys need to uh, prepare before you go do the party. So I'm going to show you guys the checklist. And then what, what I'm going to show you is exactly how to like do the actual party. Okay. Let's see the first one. Guys, it's a party. And the, the number one thing you need at the party is what is music, right? Um, and with music, what I mean here is not like loud where you cannot hear the other person music i'm just talking about creating a friendly and good atmosphere okay just something upbeat uh no mozart no beethoven no nothing sad it needs to be something energetic like upbeat so that when people come in they feel well does it make sense so uh, having music just um, not so loud so that people can hear it, but still not so loud. And then uh, you invite the people. And um, by the way, what I uh, forgot to mention, uh, you need to do you at your party. So for, it's very important that you don't, like if you do a party for people that, you, that know you, you should look exactly the same as you always do. For example, if they, you know, Know, know you as the person that is walking around naked all the time at home, please open the door up naked, you know? So don't change it, like don't suit up, don't, uh, don't uh, change yourself, just do you because you want to make sure that people feel, um, feel normal when, they open, when you open the door, when they come in. Okay, so music is very important. Uh, that creates a very good atmosphere. Like I said, it's very important to have the right music, which is just an upbeat, um, you know, energetic music, okay? That's number one. Let's see what number two says. Very important. I love children. I don't have children, but I do love children, and I love pets. I love cats. I love dogs. But when I'm doing a J party, I have to remove them from, the, from home. Or if you have the chance, just put them in another room. 
Make sure that children and pets are not there. It's a fun thing to do to organize a Jay party, but it's very important that you understand that this is, um, this is your business. And people, although it's very fun, people still need to understand that, that this is your business um, and you're taking it seriously. So if you have children or pets around, people will start to talk about their children, they will talk about their pet. Oh, my dog uh, eats this and does that. And my child does this and that does that. And that creates um, distraction. That creates discussions. And, you know, um, you don't want to waste time. Okay. So children and pets, if possible, have them whether out of the house or at least in a separate room. And I'm going to talk to you guys in a couple of minutes about how long a party should be. That's not so long as long as you uh, really as not as long as you think. Okay, so no children, no pets. Do yourselves a favor. Next point is product samples. Guys, in order to like we are a product based company, you are promoting Jeunesse, Jeunesse products. And how unprofessional does it look if you don't have products when you're presenting the products does it make sense so you need to make sure you have products on site we have amazing products which you can sample let's say you have five people job coming in you have to have reserve samples for example if you're talking about reserve you have you can have like the easiest thing that i can um easiest thing and the most um, you know, something that people really like and which is easy for you and it doesn't cost much is to prepare uh, Zen Fuse shakes. Make sure you have a good blender. Make sure you do your Zen, Zen shake with ice. You put some ice in it. It's cold and fresh and you prepare Zen shakes to give people just to try. If, you're t if you love reserve, make sure you have reserve. Uh, to sample, to give away one each. If you love uh, Zen Fit, make sure you have Zen Fit. If you love, um, you know, the, the Luminous line, make sure you have the Luminous line there uh, to give people, like, to try, to, to, to smell, to try, um, you know, and, and for example, if you love, uh, love to work with uh, Instantly Ageless, for sure you have to have Instantly Ageless to try it on people so, they see, so that they say uh, that they see it works within, a, within two minutes. So having products ready is great. Um, and one very important tip, this, please listen carefully. Do not put all the products in a corner, like very beautiful with lights on them and stuff like that. Do not do that. Because as soon as people come in, they will go like, oh, okay, this is a sales presentation. Uh, I shouldn't be here. You understand what I mean? Always you have to think about people have to feel good. They have to feel the way they usually feel when they step in your room. So there shouldn't be no difference. You have to have products, some products on the table, but not too much. Don't make it like a, hey guys, welcome to my sales pitch. Uh, does it make sense? So don't do like uh, towers of products and banners and oh, not at all. Please don't do that. You want to make sure they feel uh, welcome. They feel fuzzy. They feel warm. And they don't have the feeling, oh, this person is about to sell me something. Okay? Product samples, very important. Tip number four, you have to have your upline with you. Let me repeat, you have to have your upline with you. If your upline is not there in person, you have to have your upline with you uh, via Skype or Zoom. Have your upline join the meeting with you. Why is that? Number one, because that's the third person. Like when I, let's say I just started in this business, okay? And I'm inviting my cousin. My cousin knows me for as long as I exist on this earth, all right? And I've been doing, for, let's say, some other stuff. I've been working at the office and all of a sudden I started in my own business. My cousin will not take me very serious. He will go like, what are you talking about? You're a office worker or you, are, uh, you do this and that. He will not take me serious uh, in, a ter in terms of 
um, you know, this is a huge business, this can change your life. That's the reason you need a third person. And this third person, preferably, should be on site in your living room. If not, he or she should be on Skype, on Zoom, in the room. And um, I'm gonna, in a few minutes, I'm gonna talk about uh, what the person is going to do, okay? And by the way, you guys are the uplines if you are organizing uh, J parties for your team. Does it make sense? So uh, if you are doing it yourself, you need to have one of your uplines there. If uh, you are organizing it for your team, you have to be there as your upline, um, as the upline. And um, like I said, doesn't matter if you like, if you have, let's say if you're Sapphire, you can ask your Sapphire Elite upline. If he's not available or she's not available, you can ask the Ruby upline. If he's not available, you can ask the next Emerald. If not, you can ask, ask the next uh, Diamond, okay? Uh, if nothing works, you can just ask someone who is working with you. Maybe someone from Crossline. Hey, same team, now I, you help me, I help you. You just be there. Uh, in the in the meeting and you just give your testimony how great these products are how great our business is that's it okay so if you have if you don't have i mean for god's sakes i've done i've done um i've done um uh, just one second guys okay i've done uh, the, the the home parties where i had my downline uh joining on zoom to give uh, testimonies okay uh, so we're going to be done in 10 minutes. So having upline is very important. Having a laptop and TV ready is very important. Why? To show the, um, to show the videos, the presentation, whatever you do, and obviously to have your upline uh, involved in the whole thing. And then the next thing is, and the last thing, product testimonies, which comes from the upline. Now, the product testimony part doesn't have to only come from the upline. You can also have, let's say you have a customer or you have a distributor who has an amazing product testimony. You can invite that person also to your party just to sit there. His or her role is just to talk about the products, just tell her or his story as soon as you, um, you know, ask them to do that. Make sense? All right. So um, here's, here's how you do it. Here, here's the list one more time if you want to take a screenshot or just uh, write them down this is the list. So you invite people with your, uh, with your new person. Uh, and, and I suggest to do the invitation parts together. Like you can come together with your downlines, with your uplines in a room and start to call people. Very important thing is to set up the next two, three J party dates already in your calendar. Now, like tonight, put the dates in first, and then from tomorrow, start to invite people to those parties. Very important tip, as I said at the beginning, do not explain too much on the phone. Your job on the phone is to invite people. Hey, um, this is Nader. I, um, um, how are you doing? I was just uh, thinking about you. Do you have time tomorrow night, 7 p.m. to be at my place? Place I want to show you something. It's very important. I just started the business. I just want to have your opinion about the business. Or even, do you have time tomorrow night after dinner? I'm going to uh, serve some shakes. I'm going to serve some dessert. Let's call it dessert, for God's sake. Who, who cares? You're going to give them something delicious, right? So the only intention is to invite people. And here comes the most important tip of all uh, of our webinar tonight, which is you need to set your alarm ready. Let me just go back here. Here you go. Before, when you start your party, your J party, you need to set your alarm uh, on 45 minutes. Every, like after 45 minutes, you have to be done. Number one, because you have to make sure you don't talk too much and you don't create too much, you don't give people too much time to ask, you know, questions which are just, doesn't have anything to do with, uh, with this. So 45 minutes. Everything you do more than 45 minutes will make sure that uh, everything goes wrong. 
You can believe me that. So 45 minutes is the absolute max. You have to be done by 45 minutes. Now, how do you, so people come in and here's how you do it. People come into the room immediately at the beginning, you give them some products. Like I said, I pref prefer Zen Fuse. If you don't have Zen in your markets, you give them Reserve. If you don't have Reserve, uh, you can give them Zen, Zen Fit, just small caps. It doesn't matter. Just give them some products in the hand so that they know, hey, this is great. Uh, we're going to expect people, people are, are always, uh, people always want to see something new or try something new. Okay. That's the first thing you do. They sit down a little bit, small talk, not too much. It gets straight to the point and tell them, Hey, I just have 45 minutes. Thank you very much for coming after 45 minutes. The next round is coming or I have to go somewhere, something like that so that they don't sit for 45 or uh, longer than 45 minutes. And then you start to explain the products, whatever products is your preference. You explain that products, you let them try it. If it is luminous, you just, you know, let them test the, test the products. You talk about your experience. Your explanation should, should be 80% your experience with the product and 20% science. 80% experience, 20% science. People might ask very uh, uh, specific questions. It's important not to go through all the, ans all the answers because that will just create more questions and more questions. The best thing to do is, hey, I am not a product expert, but I'm sure I can get someone on the call the next time who can answer this question. Hey, I am not the right one to answer this question, but I'm sure that I can get someone for you to answer this question. This is, you, have to, you, know, you, you don't have to be ashamed to tell someone that you don't know the answer. That's just, that's just straight. You want to come to the point and you just don't want to get in discussions. So they sit down, you go through the products and then you let them pr try the products. And after that, you just say, hey, listen guys, there is also an, a business opportunity behind this whole thing. Is anyone interested to hear that? Are you guys interested to hear that? Check that out first before you go into the business part and start to talk about, you know, compensation plans, stuff like that. Um, make sure you, you ask them if they're interested or not. Maybe just, they're, just, they're just not interested, you know. Maybe they just like the product and they just want to buy the product. Then leave it by that. Don't explain the business. But if they say, yes, we're interested, then you go ahead and do the business presentation part. By the way, those, it might be you have like, let's say three people sitting and two of them want to hear about the business and the, the, the one person doesn't, doesn't want to. You just ask the person very kindly, okay, do you want to try the products? You can buy them uh, from me right now or I can sign you up uh, in the system and you can get preferred price. What do you want? Give them these two options and then make sure that the person gets a product and then make sure the person leaves because he or she doesn't want to know anything about the business. And then you go and work with these two guys. And there's also a psychological thing behind it because the person that's leaving, he or she's thinking, oh, I might miss something here. So next time I'm going to make sure I listen to the business part as well. Does it make sense? So make sure you lead the party. You lead the party. If there's someone negative, don't like, this is your business. This is not, this is something you're investing your time in and the time is everything. If something is, someone is very negative in the round, you can kindly ask the person to leave. I had huge problems doing that at the beginning when I started. Um, but with the time I learned that when you do that, the other people will like go like, wow, this person is serious. He's just like literally a very kind way asking the person to leave who is negative. So this person is really serious about the business. Anyways, you try the products uh, let them try the products and then ask if he's uh, interested into business. If yes, you go through the business part and then at all points, your upline is hopefully sitting there or is it on Zoom or Skype and you can ask the person about opinion or testimonies and the person, your upline can anytime jump in and fill it out, okay? And then after that, you should be done. After that, you ask them, hey, um, what, is the, uh, what is the outcome? Do you want to start the business or you just, you just want to uh, use the products? Guys, this was it for tonight. I just wanted to test it out and see 
if uh, if you guys like it like this information if that is the uh, the